Hi, I'm Darren Ferrugia and welcome. So following on from last week's lesson where we looked at a quintuplet within the jazz style, today I want to show you a septuplet. So a septuplet is a group of seven notes evenly spaced apart. In this case, seven sixteenth notes in the space of four sixteenth notes. So let me just explain the sticking that I'm using. It's actually quite basic. I'm playing a paradiddle diddle, which is a six note grouping with a bass drum on the end of it. So the bass drum gives us our seventh stroke. So the best way to start this would be to play a paradiddle diddle over sixteenth note triplets. So let me give you an example of that. One, two, three, four. Now we want to turn that into a seven note grouping by adding a bass drum to the end of that. That can be a little tricky. So what I'm going to do now is just play uh, the paradiddle diddle with a bass drum on the end of it. And I'm not necessarily thinking of, of it as a seven note subdivision, let's say. I'm just trying to get the coordination right and I'm just trying to get the space between the notes as even as I can. So let's give that a go. I'm going to slow it down a little bit. So I'm not even thinking of a subdivision there, I'm just trying to get those notes evenly spaced apart. So in order to get this to feel like a seven note subdivision, the next step for me would be to add quarter notes on the hi-hat. As it turns out, my right hand accent, which is at the start of the pattern, is on every downbeat. So I'm going to add the hi-hat to that right hand accent that I'm playing. So practicing that is going to get the coordination going between all four limbs. Now as you get better at this you can actually take the tempo up and then eventually you will start to hear that right hand accent with the hi-hat as your downbeat. So let me just take the tempo of what I just played just a little faster. Now again, this is very much in the Elvin Jones style. I've also heard Dave Weckl play this lick as well. And again, as I said last week, I'm a big fan of the ambiguity that's created when you play a subdivision that's just a little away from what we're generally used to hearing. So it's not a triplet and it's not 30 second notes, it's that seven, it's right in between. So the ambiguity is a, um, it's a great thing to listen out for. Now we have a couple of options with accents. So I'm going to start with accenting just the right hand. One, two, three, four. But I prefer the sound when we accent the left hand as well as the right hand. So this is really the first two notes or the single portion of this uh, rudiment that's going to be accented. We get this. One, two, three, Now as with the pattern that we played last week, the quintuplet, you don't always have to start with the hands. You can actually start by putting the bass drum on the downbeat. In this instance, the hi-hat and bass drum will be in unison if you're playing quarter notes on the hi-hat. A little slower, that would sound like this. One, two, three, four. So what I'll do now is just improvise playing this pattern, um, starting with the right hand on the downbeat or with the bass drum on the downbeat in amongst some other vocabulary. I'm just going to have a little bit of fun with this.
So that's the uh, jazzy septuplet, group of seven notes on one beat. And um, in a future video, I'm going to take this idea and do a few more interesting things with it by um, expanding the space between the downbeats or the accents. But that's for a future video. So um, in the meantime, have a lot of fun practicing it. Take your time. Try to get your ear around the sound of this seven note grouping. and. Um, I shall see you very soon. If you like the video, hit the like button, please subscribe and remember to hit the notification button so that you're alerted as to when I upload these videos, which is every week. So until next time, have fun practicing and I shall see you soon. Bye. <clears throat> okay, let's not do that.